everyone welcome back to my channel in today's recipe i have another amazing recipe for you guys today's recipe i'm making this quick and easy very simple yet so delicious fried chicken recipe you can make this at home in no time if you want to learn how to make it just keep on watching also if you're new be sure to subscribe like the video if you enjoy it and let's begin Here's what you need to make this recipe. The measurement will be below. I am using seasoned salt, chicken bouillon, lemon pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and as well as some Creole seasoning. Also, we have some paprika, hot sauce, and for the breading, we're using all-purpose flour with four eggs. And of course, we have the chicken. This was a whole chicken that I cut myself. Now let's get started. First thing we're going to be doing is mixing all of our dry seasonings together. Once you're done, you're going to mix all of the seasoning together. Make sure it's well combined. Now I'm going to use half of that seasoning blend to set it aside to season my flour. Now I'm going to take the remaining of the seasoning, just pour it all over the chicken, just like so. Next, we're going to use our hand to mix everything together to make sure the seasoning is all over the chicken, of course. Just mix it really good, give it a nice little massage so all the seasoning can get through the chicken. Once you are done, you're going to pour in your hot sauce. I am going to pour that in. And for those who might be asking, is it going to make it spicy? Not really, or no, because Honestly, the hot sauce has vinegar. It's going to give it a nice vinegary flavor in there. It didn't make it spicy at all. If you want to add, um, if you want to make it spicy, just add about half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper in there. Once I am done, I am going to cover this, place it in the fridge for about 30 to 60 minutes so it can be nice and flavorful and be well marinated once your time is up take the chicken out of the fridge just set it aside we're getting ready to fry the chicken in a bowl I am going to crack in four eggs then we're going to use a fork to whisk everything together now this is what's going to make your chicken nice and flaky and crunchy this is it right here I used this method before on my sh fried shrimp recipe oh my god it was so crispy and so crunchy that's why I am using the same method for this chicken recipe so Next, I am going to take a container that has a lid. I am going to pour in my flour right in there. Next, I'm using the seasoning that I had left over. Just pour that in. Then we're going to give it a nice shake to make sure the seasoning is well combined with the flour. And like I always say, if your flour doesn't have color, if your flour is still white, it needs more seasoning. <laughs> okay? Because... We don't, we don't make bland food over here. Everything has to be, you know, flavorful. So this is my flour, my seasoned flour. So now this is the chicken, nice and well marinated. I am going to take the chicken just like this and we're going to place it into the egg mixture. Okay, make sure it's nice and wet and let the excess egg drain of course then we're going to add that chicken to our seasoned flour mm -hmm. 
Now you're going to cover the bowl and give it a nice shake, okay? That's how we're going to have a nice breading to this chicken, okay? So just cover it, give it a nice shake, just like that. Of course, you can use a brown bag if you do have one, but this always been my method. Just use a covered plastic bowl and just add my chicken to it, give it a nice shake, and boom, there you have it. Now you can already tell this chicken is about to be extremely crispy because just by looking at the breading, okay? Now if you want, you can take the chicken, place it back in the egg mixture and put it back into the flour again if you like a thick breading. But honestly, I didn't really have to do that, so that's great. Now we're getting ready to do the second batch, which shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna let you guys watch that then I'll show you guys what to do next. Now you're going to pour your oil to your frying pan or whatever that you do have. Now, um, I am using peanut oil for those who might be asking. I am going to let the oil temperature reach about 320, 300 degrees. Once it is hot and ready, we're going to place the chicken right in just like that, okay? Now we're going to cook the chicken for about 12 to 15 minutes until they are nice and golden, crispy, you know, just beautiful. Once it's done, it should come out very crispy, something like this. How golden and crispy this is. I am in love. This recipe is always my to-go recipe. I love it here because look how flaky and crispy these came out. I'm just speechless. Like, of course, you can use buttermilk. I do have other methods of making fried chicken, but this is one of the simplest way to make chicken, if you ask me. <laughs> so this is it. Basically, I am going to fry the other batch, and I'll talk to you guys once they're done. This last batch, I went ahead and actually put them back in the flour twice and look how golden and crispy. It's giving me KFC vibes. <laughs> it looks so crispy like this is homemade. What are you waiting for? Try this out. Thank you so much for watching today's recipe, guys. Let me know down below, are you going to try this out? Or is there any new method out there that I need to know on how to make fried chicken? This right here is a big winner. You have to try it out. Also, guys, give this video a thumbs up for me if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye.